OK, uh, in this example, we've got um, the same situation as we had a couple of pages before. So the first step is to take this information about 50 students, and uh, we could put that data straight away into a table. OK, um, but then when we read the probability um, that we have to find, it actually has got this word given in it. And that's a giveaway that what we're looking at is there's a conditional probability. It doesn't have to use the word given, but often it does. What it, this means is that we're not interested in all the students, okay? We know that the student who was picked studies English, okay? So in terms of the table, it means that this not English row of the table, I could completely ignore, okay? So there are two ways to do this. Let's do it actually in the, in the order that it's given. The formula, okay, well, um, the formula book gives the rule the probability of A and B equals uh, the probability of A times the probability of B given A, okay? And that can be rearranged into the form that the probability of B, B, the probability of B given A, okay, is the probability of A and B over the probability of A. So it's always the probability of both of them on top, but the one we divide by is the probability of the thing we're given. So in this case, I want the probability of maths, given that she, she, he or she studies English. So it's really important to identify the one that's being given. Okay, in this case, it's English. So that means the probability I need to set up is going to have the probability of English, this one after the sign, um, on the bottom and on the top it's got to be the probability of maths and English and given the probabilities I've, I've, I've actually been fed in the question this is very easy to do I know the probability of maths and English okay it's well I know how many there are it's 10 students okay and I know that there are 50 students altogether so it's 10 fiftieths okay as my probability of maths and English on the bottom I just need the probability of them studying English which is this 25 fiftieths okay and if I do this the fiftieths actually cancel so this will simplify to 10 over 25 though if I do it on my calculator my calculator will take me all the way to 2 over 5 or even uh, 0 0.4 perfectly good answer any of those last three will get full credit. You probably need to simplify this version down. Okay. But it's equally okay um, to work with the table. And if you've already got a table set up, what I would do is say, okay, think back to what we were what we were asked to do. We, we need the probability they study maths, given that it's an English student, student who studies English. So for this one here, this not English row of the table, I can completely ignore, I could even cross it out, and so the totals I'm not bothered by. I'm only interested in the part of the table where people study English. So how many students am I talking about? I'm going to just set up the, 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 the fraction. It's going to be the probability of studying maths, given they study English. But given it's English, I'm just looking at this row of the table. So how many students could it be? This time it could only be one of 25 students, so I need 25 on the bottom. And I want them to study maths, so it could be one of these ten. Can't be any of these ones down here because they don't study English. I'm ignoring them from the beginning. So there are just these ten students out of the students who study English who also study maths. So the conditional probability is 10 over 25, which once more is two-fifths or 0.4. And we're done.